Hi there, this is a video about the Rackspace CDN, the Content Delivery Network. As you'll know, it pushes the content of your website out to nodes all around the world and makes it much faster for your users. So as you can see here, I have a beautiful website that I just made. It's WordPress and I put even a little picture on there. And I want to put it behind the CDN. So let's look at my Rackspace account. So it is held on this server here, super server. And if we look at the DNS, we'll see that the, the A record for vdenover.org.au is pointing at super server's IP and www is pointing at, is a C name to that. So before we know what the DNS records will be for the CDN, we have to create the CDN. So let's have a look at networking CDN tab. I'm going to open it in a new tab because I want to flip between the DNS and the CDN. It takes a while to load. Okay, so now that it's loaded, we'll create a new CDN service. So I'm going to put the whole website behind the CDN. So I'll just call it vdenueva.org.au. We won't enable HTTPS because that's a whole nother topic. And the domain name that's, that the site is going to be served on is www.vdenueva.org.au. Now we can't serve it without the www because of restrictions in Rackspace's DNS setup and the same for Amazon. And the origin, all we need to put here is the IP address because, let's just copy that, it will hit that IP address and it'll pretend to be asking for that host name. So that's really good because you know how WordPress only lets you have one site. So if I just curl the IP, I mean, if I let's, okay, well, let's do readandwave.org.au. Let's go to the terminal. You see here, I've already curled it. If I ask WordPress, oh, give me the site readandwave.org.au, it says, oh no, you need www.readandwave.org.au because WordPress only lets you have one darn URL. So if the CDN would hit the server using vdenover.org.au, it would totally crap out. But luckily it, it sends the request like this. Let me copy that. It says curl-i and it's, oh, I want the host of www.vdenover.org.au and it will ask in that IP address and that will return the actual site. Ta da 200, okay. Woo. Okay, I'm sorry for the diversion there. So basically domain name is the domain name that people are gonna put in their browser. Origin is which server to request the site off of using that as a host header. Okay, let's create the service. 10 cents per gigabyte, Ooh, okay. So once the service is created, ta -da, it will tell you, okay, we'll just ignore that. It will tell you what DNS record to put in. So you see here, domain name www.vdenova.org.au. We need to click the fix. Thank you again. We need to click the fix button and say, oh, you should actually have www.vdenova.org.au should be a C name of this URL. So let's copy that. Go to our DNS settings, change www to point to that. So www.vdenova.org.au is now a C name of this crazy URL. Okay, modify. So I waited five minutes and now the DNS will have updated. So if we go back here and refresh, that fix should go away. Yay, so everything's happy here. Now we'll see if the CDN has made any improvement for our performance. So first we'll see if the site still works. Resolving host. Let's just pretend it's really fast. 
Woo, it worked. Post number four. Okay, it seems to be okay. Now let's have a look at the terminal. So you'll see here, this is before the DNS resolved. When I asked for www.medianeighbor.org.au, I got the server IP. Now that the C name is in there, I get, oh, that's a C name of this, oh, that's a C name of that, oh, that's a C name of Akamai, ah, oh, your IP address should be one of these two. So now if I look at the trace route to see if it's any closer, this is my trace route to, let's just stop it because it's just sad. This is my trace route to the actual server. So you'll see I'm going do 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 through Brisbane, through Sydney, through Telstra Global, through BI, whatever country that is, and I don't know, Los Angeles, Washington, and finally get into Rackspace, and then here I have my 2.35 second ping time. That just sucks. You can see here um, level three is the the culprit. Now let's have a look at our CDN. Oh, it's very easy. You go out of my router to wherever that is, wherever that is, wherever that is, and I know that's in Brisbane, that IP address, because the heck of my server's in Brisbane. Real close to about an hour away driving. So the CDN is working. Woo! And as you can see, the, the site is really fast.